Hey guys, hope you are going well. So the official trailer for season three of Penny Dreadful has dropped as of a few days ago now. And trust me, it has taken all the willpower from every inch of my being to resist watching it, to do something different for you guys and sit down right now and watch it together. Let's do it. <sighs> They're going to save her. He's very close. Okay, there you go. What was that song? There was this sort of remix of an old song that they had in there that I was really digging. I really like how they had remixed that song. I'm sure it's an... I, they sort of stripped it back so much I almost didn't recognize it. Uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. It looks like there might be something of Ethan in America. I'm not sure. It was hard to tell from this trailer, but I'm sure that I've read that somewhere that we're going to be seeing some of Ethan's time in America. Uh, so that should be really interesting. And also he crossed paths with the Native American character as well, who I think we might have seen a snippet of at the very beginning. Looks like we're going to see Ethan and Vanessa reunite, which of course I'm super happy about. The way that they left things at the end of last season was just devastating, like absolutely heartbreaking. And Vanessa just sort of choosing her path of solo aloneness just it being her cross to bear and no one else's it was just devastating so i am so glad that looks like we will at some point see not only her and ethan reunite but the whole crew get back together because i saw um we saw sir malcolm in there as well as ethan and was uh, frankenstein in there i wasn't sure was he in that trio but they all said that they were going to go back and rescue vanessa so obviously she's in some kind of trouble which of course she usually is every season. She seems to be the uh, center of evil and evil is always trying to find its way to her. Um, I can't wait to see who our main like evil villain is going to be. Uh, looks like it's going to be some kind of demonic creature. Um, so I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see about that. I see that we there's no return of Madame Carly anywhere. So she is truly gone. I might have read somewhere that we're going to see um, Hecate, that 
one of her underling characters make some sort of appearance in this season, maybe? Did I make that up? It's possible. Um, but yeah, so it looks like they're staying away from the whole witch route entirely, which I'm okay with. I liked that they focused on the witch thing for season two, but I'm happy for it to go in a whole new direction for season three. Looks like Ethan is also going to be getting his fangs out, so that's really exciting because they've been playing that close to their chests for the entire season two. I can't remember now when in season two Ethan finally transformed for us, but it uh, looks like we're going to be seeing more of that too. One of my main predictions that I had that I told you guys from last season was I predicted that our main villain for this season was going to be Dorian and... What's her name? Oh my gosh, I always forget her name. Dorian and uh, the Bride of Frankenstein, whatever her name is. Um, I thought the two of them might pair together and be the new evil because the two of them together just looked like they were unstoppable evil and had so much ill will in intentions going on uh, in their grand plans, but uh, we didn't see much of them. It looks like there's some sort of love triangle going on there, maybe infidelity, maybe not. It looks like she might even get to reunite with Dr. Frankenstein at some point and um, maybe try and return to some form of humanity if that is even possible for her. The thing that still really gets me about this show is that not only do I love all all these gothic horror vibes constantly at play but the characters are all just naively hopeful in a way they all want things and they all have hopes and have like these dreams but they're just all so incredibly tormented and there is so much doubt and darkness around every single thing that they do. Uh, so I love the writing of this show. I've always loved it since the beginning. I think the writing is just the most, it's just so incredibly strong and how they weave those relationships uh, between everybody and then how they bring the ensemble and tie everybody together. I like that a lot as well. I dig it, I am into it, I cannot wait. Season three is returning on the 1st of May, which is just in a few weeks now. And I can't wait. I. Gosh, if you know what that song is, it is driving me nuts. I am thinking in the back of my mind, I know it, it's on the tip of my tongue. It's on the tip of my tongue. It's gonna drive me so crazy, especially when I find out what it is. It's just gonna be like, I knew it. <laughs> that is it from me guys, until uh, this season returns for the new Penny Dreadful. Leave me comments in the comment section down below. Let me know what your hopes are for this season. And let me know what you thought of this trailer. If you thought it gave anything away or if you liked the sort of vibes that it is setting up for this next season, I would love to know. Um, and I will see you back for season three, episode one. Bye.